Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm, no, a hot, hot welcome and a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, my dear friends and favorite supermodel in your too, I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Donna. You know, it was one stupid photograph of, of me and my boyfriend. And the next thing you know, that the baby doll photo is on the cover of that thing, move the New York Post. <laughs> and, uh, and then it's on Time magazine. Oh, no, 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 Teddy, no, no, not just some gossip column item. No, no, it's becoming some horrific symbol. Women, a fashion manipulation. <laughs> na, 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 na. I think that um, God, or Yahweh, you know, whatever you want to call it, I think he has a book. And in this book, he keeps a list. You know, you, you did this good, you did this not good, whatever you did. At the end of your life, he totals it up. And if you are very, very good, I think he says, all right, you will be rewarded. In your next life, you'll be 5 foot 11. You'll have fantastic bone structures, skinny arms, you know, this, this is your reward because you were good. Now, I think the reverse is true. If I'm walking down the street and I see somebody who's, you know, 5 foot 3 and fat, I think, well, you, mm, you're a child abuser or something terrible in your last life because that's a curse, of course, to be born short and fat like that. And I think that you can prove that my philosophy is true by the way that aesthetics change throughout history. Oh, you know, at one time it was the popular aesthetic to be short and fat, and now, of course, it is best to be tall and elegant, you know. So I think that you can prove that God rewards you with an eye toward fashion trends, knowing what will be in and, and, and what will be out at the time of your next incarnation. If for the moment, don't worry so much what your health is going to be like when you're 60, my God. If you've been fat and boring and ugly for 60 years, you're going to die in a miserable heap anyway, you know? <laughs> Get it? A 
box. In a box. A gun. In a coffin. Oh, Muffin, I'm sorry. Mommy didn't see you there. <laughs> hey, you, my little nutter butter. Huh? Hey, you, my little muffin man. Oh, no, Julia, no. Mommy doesn't want any gold crackers. No, 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 Julia, no, no, please. Jack, patience, Muffin. Jack, when Guru Kaffa gets here, hold all my calls. I don't want any interruptions when I'm in here doing yoga with her. No one. Just Kevin or Shelly or a writer or Charlie Mack something. If he calls you, just you put him right through it. Julianne, listen to Mommy very carefully, please. I missed you so much. And I am so happy to be home. But I just had a facial and Pilates, and all my editing work, and I need just a moment to myself, all right, before my yoga teacher gets Oh, she's a very important person. She helped mommy stay skinny when you were in my belly. Yes. <laughs> Guru Kappa, I, I have not seen you since I was pregnant. No, we just had his birthday, so it's at least three years. Look at your skin, I want it. Is it being me? Because I'll do it, I swear I'll convert. I'll wear the white thing and everything. <laughs> Can't be any more difficult than everything I go through now. And of course, I'm allergic to collagen. Yeah, you can imagine how difficult that makes my life. <laughs> <laughs> Julian is a wonderful, my treasure. <laughs> Most important thing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching television with his nanny. <laughs> Pardon me, Guru Kaf. Yeah. Relief, okay. Relief at what? At, at, at getting older? <laughs> God, no. It's not like the problems of youth just disappear, you know? It's not like you never have a pimple again. You just wake up with a pimple next to a wrinkle. The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> we struck gold in Amish country. And uh, she, she uh, came to live in a beach house in Santa Monica with the most gorgeous group of teenagers we've ever put together. <laughs> we filled the house with alcohol, kept the hot tub running day and night. We sent them on a trip to Macau. Finally, one night, she did it. Lost her virginity in a three-way on a hayride. <laughs> this is what I really want to pass on to the little girls, you know? I would rather have 30 years of beauty and perfection and power, huh? Than 60 years of irrelevance. Oh, you're very welcome, Teddy. Oh, it was my pleasure to be here. It was a blast.